Hey everyone, we're here at Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort and we're gonna give you the lay of the land. <laughs> We're gonna head to our room and check that out. And once we check the room out, we're gonna go get some dinner. And then we'll kind of give you guys more of a full tour of the resort. And here we are. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Here's our room and wifey, take it away. Welcome to our room. We're gonna show you around. This is a standard king room. We're staying in room 2722 for those of you interested. I love the warm tropical vibes in this room. One of my favorite things about the Royal Pacific rooms is this big mural on the wall. I just love walking into this mural. It just really gives you that warm tropical vibe. Wes has got the matching lay. <laughs> so you're very matchy matchy today. I love the beds here. They are pretty comfortable. So after those long days at the park, you'll definitely want to come in here and take a nice little nap and you will fall asleep. On either side, you have identical nightstands. There are three regular plugins here. Keep in mind that on the other side, there is not a USB port, but over here you do have two USB ports because of the clock. You also have a drawer on either side and a little cubby hole, just in case you want to put something down here. And just over to the other side of the bed, you have a nice little lounge area. Not a bad view. Moving over to the desk area over here, this is where you have some more USB. So it looks like you've got one over here. Um, actually, that's the only USB over here. So if you have a lot of things to hook up, make sure that you grab one of those little USB extensions because they have plenty of plugins here. You also have your room service menus here. So in-room dining, this is kind of a thick little book here. Look at this, morning fix-ins. Look at that, that's a pretty big venue. All day long and then dinner, the sweet encounter. That's my section right there. Ooh, baked mango crepe brulee. The rundown on the hotel. I'm noticing a lot more resorts having these rundowns. So it gives you kind of like a quick look of their policies, procedures. Lowe's resorts do believe in saving the planet. So you get a nice little green bag here so you can recycle. Over here is the dresser. You've got your TV on top, a nice lamp. And right in here is your standard fridge. We already packed it with some waters in there. So those don't come with your fridge. You have your coffee maker right in here with all your fixins. It's a non-branded machine for all of you coffee lovers. So I don't know what kind of brand machine this is. It doesn't say. You got some cups down here and your ice bucket. And then you have three drawers on either side. They're pretty long, so you can fit a good amount of things in there. Most of the resorts on Universal have these Fiji waters. Be mindful that if you do drink one of these, it's $7.50 per bottle. Might wanna just run downstairs to Tuk Tuk and get your water. <laughs> You've got your AC controller over here. And then I love the closet in here. The closet is pretty spacious. You've got your standard safe, iron, iron board, hangers. If you wanna do laundry service, they have that here. Uh, one of my favorite things is the luggage rack is in here too, but you can see there's quite a bit of space in here. I can't forget the extra blankets as well. I always get cold at night, so these blankets come in handy. You got two little peepholes, your emergency evacuation route, a peephole for the kiddos. We're heading into the bathroom. I love this bathroom because it's got this big, nice mirror over here. So you can check yourself out before you head to the parks. <laughs> On the other side is your sink. I love that it's a split plan as well. It's just a really nice size bathroom, especially great for families as well. Um, you've got one sink here, you've got your towels down here, your hair dryer, some extra hand towels here. You've got your face bar, your shower cap, your lotion, your hand and body wash, a couple of cups here. On the other side is your tissues. And then you've got your cotton balls and your Q-tips in here. I love how they do this because you tend to forget these little things and it's just nice to have them, nice little touch. And then you've got this nice mirror over here on this side as well as your magnifying mirror when you're getting ready in the morning. I know I love that. <laughs> and then in here you've got your slider door. So you have your toilet over here, trash can, and then your shower. 
You just have the one head there, but you do have the little line for your bathing suit or anything that you want to dry up there. That sums up our room tour. All in all, we really love the rooms here at Royal Pacific, but there's a lot more exploring to do, so let's go check it out. It's time for walk bowls. It is pouring outside right now. Crazy. And it just happens to be the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights, and it is just coming down out there. So hopefully later it will clear up and we're gonna go over there and check it out. But that'll be in another video. Oh, we're not gonna go anywhere unless we push a button. Welcome to the Island's Dining Room. I've been waiting a couple hours to, to come down here. We've been kind of watching the, the clock go by until our six o'clock reservation. And I think they just opened at six o'clock. I they wanna did. say it's yep. not crazy busy in here yet. There's, there's people are starting to kind of trickle in and it's pouring down rain outside so People are probably not out and about as much as they normally would be, but uh, I'm looking forward to a really good dinner. I think I'm gonna do the walk experience. It's, uh, you get the salad bar, soup of the day, dessert, you get to create your own pan-Asian stir-fry bowl, and it's all you care to eat. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Decision made. I definitely second that. <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for. First station, walk toppings. Pick whatever toppings you want. Carrots, broccoli, peas. Zucchini. I don't think I've ever had a bamboo shoot. Oh, they're good. Uh -oh. Maybe you should get two bowls, babe. That's probably too many vegetables. Uh-oh. I got my veggies. I'm ready to go over to the chef now. Here we go. Check that out. That looks amazing. I'm happy. I can't wait to go dig in. Oh, look, dessert. I'm really happy about this right now. This is a really unique experience here, only at Royal Pacific on Friday and Saturday. Look at this dish. That, it's all you can eat, but I'm pretty sure I'm not even gonna be able to finish this dish here. It looks fantastic. That is really delicious. This is the real deal right here. The teriyaki has that nice like sweet flavor. The noodles are perfect. Look at all those vegetables. I got shrimp and steak. This is really good. <laughs> Make sure you run to the walk experience. Don't walk, run. We're going a little backwards here. I'm gonna try the egg drop soup now. It looks amazing. It is super hot, so make sure you grab a plate um, because just to the touch, it's I'm pretty tolerable to heat and this is hot. Oh gosh, it smells really good. That's a really good egg drop soup. A lot of this stuff here is homemade. I didn't ask if the egg drop soup was, but the wok chef said that the teriyaki sauce was actually homemade, so really cool. And also we got these little rolls here too. They're Hawaiian. They kind of have like a pineapple coconut flavor to them. I'm going back to my wok bowl now. <laughs> that was really good. I will say the star of the dinner is the walk. So the walk experience. The desserts were meh. I had the mango cheesecake. They also had a pineapple parfait and a fudge cake. The egg drop soup was really good. So I would say the walk and the egg drop soup. If you want to get a salad, if you want to get desserts, they're there. But definitely get the walk. Awesome. Two thumbs up. Travel and Foodie Warrior approved. Now I'm ready for a nap. No. We've got to go over to Halloween Horror Nights now. Halloween Horror Nights, nap after a good dinner. Yeah. Hello. Here we go. Royal Pacific. I love this walkway when you first come in. Love it with all the little froggies. Each one of these little frogs over this bridge has an instrument. Look, he's got the drum. Royal Pacific Resort, Universal Orlando. Here we go. Tuk Tuk is a mini market here at Royal Pacific. I love these little markets. They're very effective if you need a snack. I love the pretzels here. A lot of times they're out of the plain pretzel though, uh, but they do have a jalapeno soft pretzel and they also have a cinnamon soft pretzel. There's the plain one. See, they don't have very many of those left. Make sure you have them warm it up though. They do have the freestyle machine here. And then your quick grab and go. So charcuterie boards, 
And then they've got wraps, sandwiches, fruit, yogurt parfaits, hard boiled eggs, and all these little salads over here. And they do have the hot pretzels over here too, so you can grab one here, but the squirrel's tuxedo is when they warm it up for you. Trust me. Here's some beverages and cereal, all kinds of just bag snacks, chips, Chex Mix, things like that. And then over here, I love this, it's the ice cream. Oh, actually sorbet gelato. Okay, ice cream sorbet gelato, I like. And the one thing I always recommend is the chocolate chip cookies here. I love these chocolate chip cookies, they're really good. But this is where you can grab your Starbucks, your teas, nitros, anything to energize and get yourself ready for those parks, you can do that right here. They don't have an actual Starbucks at this resort, but you can get that right here at Tuk Tuk. We're gonna head in Toko Gifts over here. This is the gift shop at Royal Pacific. It's a little smaller than the other gift shops at the other Universal Resorts but still very effective. So you'll always see the event merchandise at the front. Right now, Halloween Horror Nights is going on, which is what we're here for. Typically in most of the resorts, you'll find your Harry Potter merchandise, but you know, if you have those last minute gifts, if there's something that you saw at the store, they might have it at one of the gift shops so you can stop in. And then you have some Universal Studios merchandise, cups, magnets, bags, sunglasses, things like that. It's so cute and fluffy. You've got some lanyards, keychains, pins, and this was the magnet they had here. We collect magnets, so I had to go ahead and get this magnet for Royal Pacific, but also all of your amenities that you could forget at home, or if you need some Advil, anything like that, lip balm, Blistex. Over here to my right is the Vacation Planning Center. This is where you can plan your Universal Orlando vacation. If you need tickets, if you need to pick up tickets, you can head over here and they'll help you with all of that info. We're gonna head to the pool, but since it's busy, I'm gonna go through the courtyard way, which is so pretty. I love this courtyard. Royal Pacific is one of those resorts that gets really busy in the morning. We're gonna go by the Orchid Lounge to get to the pool. This side over here is where the Orchid Lounge is. You've got a bunch of couches where you can lounge around. A lot of people that come in and their rooms are not ready when they come in for check-in actually come right here. You even have some USB ports and plug-ins in the middle over there. A nice big TV. A lot of times they have like sports on or just some kind of TV show. This is the Orchid Lounge. It's really pretty. It's only open for dinner. They have sushi and cocktails, light bites, things like that over here. So you have to go over to Tower 3 over here. We could have gone to Level 1 on Tower 2 but this keeps you in the AC for a little bit longer and then you go to ground one and you're right by the pool. <laughs> it looks like the pool is still closed, so we're gonna go over here. We've got the game room. Oh, it's open, okay. It's kind of a smaller game room, smaller than what I've seen in most of the resorts. Plenty of games, air hockey, you got the photo booth, classic in game rooms. This is different. Wes and I saw this at a different resort. It's cut your prize but we've been seeing a lot of that lately. Then you got your classic Jurassic Park game over here. Taking a left out of the game room, you've got some restrooms over here. So if you're at the pool, you can use those or coming back from the parks. Got a couple of shops over here. So this is Treasures of Bali. This is more of a swimwear inspired shop. Lots of cover-ups, swimsuits, hats. So if you forget uh, swimwear, you can just come in here. We're gonna head out to the pool and see if it's open yet. Oh, it looks like they're letting people in. When you first walk in, you've got a bunch of chairs over here on the right. Those nice little lounge chairs, a Connect Four. But check out this pool. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so pretty. Islandy themed. Here's a really good view of the pool before it gets busy out here. It's gonna be a beautiful day today. It's nice and quiet. There's not a lot of people hanging out out here. There's a net right over there so you can play volleyball with your family or friends. Oh, look, we got some duckies. Got some duckies swimming. There's the Bulu Ice Bar. This is where you can get ice cream, smoothies, tropical cocktails. So they have a little window over here. Also, as with a lot of the resorts here at Universal, they do have the little seat tags. So you can just scan that QR code, order right from your phone using the table number below, and we'll deliver to you when it's ready. What's over here? Oh, this is a little splash pool. 
Check out the little splash pool. That's kind of what, it, oh, look at the little chairs. How adorable. I love the theming here at this resort. It's so cute. They really just immerse you in this theming. This is a zero entry pool side. So you can just walk in. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a little ship. That's gonna be fun to go into. Nice and refreshing. Oh, look, they have water guns too. That's kind of fun. Over here are a couple of the cabanas that you can rent out. They're a little smaller than what I've normally seen for cabanas, but still really nice. Get a fan, a TV, a couple of nice chairs, a little bed over there, a loungy couch. This is one of the spas. I just found the second spa, so they're not too far from each other. This one's open. What a pretty resort. Beautiful. If you don't want to sit at your lounge chair and order it from there, you can come over here to the bar and grab a bite, grab your cocktail, just hang out with friends and family over here. I like exploring the resorts this early in the morning. It's nice. Okay, we're going to take a right. We caught a glimpse of the gymnasium the other day. Oh, what's this? I kind of like this. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> so why don't you just hang out there until it's time for dinner? And I'm gonna go find a drink. <laughs> Wait, find Jim. Over here on the left hand side, you've got the conference area. And then over here, this is the walkway to the water taxi. We're going into the jungle, heading to the water taxi. Love this. Oh, that's sapphire over there, too. We love sapphire also. It's Probably one of our favorite resorts here at Universal, but you don't get the Express Pass with it. Come on, Universal. Come on. Give us the Express Pass. We want the Express Pass for Sapphire. We do. All right, so when you walk through the gate, you actually make a left, not a right. Pro tip, make a left, not a right. And there's the water taxi right over there. I don't want to get too close, but you do your security check here before you head to the park. All the way at the very end of the hallway over by the pool next to the conference center is your resort transportation where the buses pick you up. So this little area here is where the buses should pick you up if you want to take that versus going on the water taxi. On the first level is also the island's dining room. You saw Wes and I come here for the walk experience. I love these frogs in the middle too. Definitely do the walk experience. Right there, the walk experience. That was awesome. So good. On the other side is Jake's American Bar. This is where they have lunch and dinner. So lunch 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., dinner 5 p.m. to 11. They have light bites kind of got like a air, airplane, airline, aeronautical feel to it. So pre-flight, desserts, in route, final approach. Supposedly they have really good cocktails. We didn't get to experience that. We wanted to eat here yesterday, but getting back from Halloween Horror Nights late has its challenges. We had a great stay. We ran into just a little bit of a snafu, but you know, yeah. that's expected. We've been lucky, you know? Yeah, it, it was, It was. Uh, we woke up one morning and we didn't have water, <laughs> which was weird, but um, uh, they, they, they did make it right. So uh, we had a good stay here um, and uh, it, was, uh, it was nice. And once again, we didn't get to use the pool. No. God, we didn't even use our express pass. I know, I can't <laughs> we believe We didn't go that. on any rides. We were so oh, well. we were so wrapped up right now in this this time of the year doing Halloween Horror yes. Nights that we didn't ride any rides at either park. But, <laughs> That's okay. So if you guys stay here, use the express pass. <laughs> Make sure you use that express pass because it is included in your resort yes. uh, stay here. And so. it's a very valuable, like, like golden ticket to have here it at is, Universal. It's unlimited Express. So don't be like us and not use your Express Pass. <laughs> Other than that, just a beautiful resort. Mm -hmm. Love that islandy vibe that they have going on here. And there's a lot that Royal Pacific offers here. If you've hung out with us this far, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like below to help support our channel. And 
make sure to watch one of these videos about one of the Universal Orlando resorts. This cute little, cute little, this cute little. We're gonna, like a, we're gonna have a little count. How many times do you say cute and little? <laughs> Don't put that in there. Do I have anything on my teeth?